Utilizing your emotional state as a resource. Refuel energy, whether it be sad, happy, angry, shit, even depressed, you know, which is part of being sad, but but not all the time, but you know what I mean. Um, So alchemizing, it's by using it as fuel while having a balanced focus. Right now, as I play Connect 4, a simple game, I was so focused on what I was doing for just a split second too long, and I lost the game. And every time I win the game, it's because I am having more of a balanced focus. I perhaps just came from losing, so the 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 I guess the the little the, the bit of trauma from losing it could be bigger for others, but in this case for me it was small. It was just me losing the game. Fueled, got me angry. I alchemized the anger somehow. And it, and, it, and it lends itself into like more of an energy passion, like a just more fuel, more something felt. And I utilized it to, you know, make sure I ensure that I alchemize it into like winning. You know, I'm going to win. I'm going to make sure that this time, you know, everything I didn't do last time, I'm going to do this time, you know. And, I, and when I think about music... And how I've been able to create I realize, you know, sometimes the beat will ignite an emotional state, right? But the concerns at hand will intertwine with the vibe itself. So what my concerns are, you know, somehow um comes to you know, the middle, they both meet each other in the middle somehow. And I, 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 I'm understanding that this is what co-creation is. So a lot of the times I'll write, but I won't necessarily, and I'll make sure that it's on beat, but I'm not necessarily deciding on cadence. I have an idea on cadence. Like I am deciding on cadence, I guess. I No, I, I do. However, I'm not really forcing cadence is better, is what I'm trying to say. I more so will freestyle the cadence, will using the words that are on beat and perhaps switching up the cadence. Sometimes I'll get it the, right the first time because I'm going based off of a vibe, what I'm feeling. So whatever my vibe feels like, yes, this is it, or this is what I want to do, like whatever makes me feel ignited, I, I follow that because... That's me listening to the inner human, the inner human that we all are, you know, that we all are connected to within our body. So when you realize, you know, we all have similarities with how we feel in terms of how the body, you know, how we react to the body, what hurts, what doesn't. Everybody says tattoos hurts. That comes into an agreement. Everyone, you know, enjoys sex. That comes to an agreement. You know, for the most part, you know, there's, of course, you know the complexities of people that don't and, and I don't want to add that to the mixture. I'm just talking about those that do and understand that aspect, those aspects of life. It's different for everyone. But I'm realizing it's like utilizing who you are at all times as a resource in order to act upon your life. That's what we're supposed to do. And I'm making this voice recording while smoking a blunt because... My spirit told me to, and I'm starting to listen more. Had I not listened, you guys would not receive this. Now, it may help no one. It may help everyone. It may help a few. And all that matters is that it helped one person to me. (laughs) That means the world without one person can then somehow maybe even say better. I don't know. Or in different words, right? Because everyone just receives words differently. So that's why we all need to speak to one another about our expertise in our own lives. Because it will save others time so that they don't have to experience the things you've experienced. We can learn from each other, guys, you know? 
sharing experiences with each other. What I learned from you, I don't have to go through now, girl. You tell me about a certain character I never experienced. Now, when I come across this character in life, I will now have flashbacks of what you went through. Now, I may know how to maneuver around this character. I may, you know, assess it as this character and, and then hold off to see if this is actually, you know, if it aligns. Because you also don't want to anticipate that the per last person you met isn't anyone else as well. However, a certain particular character... Um, there's certain characters, you know, some people have more morals than others and it, it shows in their character and you want to line yourself up with those who have the same character because as you level up, having other characters that's not in alignment with yours will only create savagery within your circle somehow. It would cause people to be jealous since they can't do what you're doing or doing as much as you do. So we see that happen a lot of the times. And it's because you trigger someone and remind them that they're not working hard enough. Because we've all been there. We've all been triggered by a person that worked harder than us, right? And what did we do? And what you, you know, we pushed through it and you, you saw that that's what it took. You sucked it up. You realized that's what it fucking took. And sometimes you get tired of your own shit long enough that you realize I got to accept that this is what it took. That at, some point, at some point, baby, 30 turns into 40. 20 turns into 30. Time be running out. 40 turns into 50. And... It's not about getting old. It's just making sure that as you get older, you are so ecstatic with the events that occurred to the point that you are in. Because thus far, if you do not feel that way, then it's time that you do what? You suck it the fuck up and do the work, baby. Do the work. No one said they liked it. Everyone sees it works. So you could try to find other ways. And you'll come back to this point, except time will just keep furthering, furthering itself. So you decide when it is that you truly would be okay with waking up. Are you okay with fully waking up at 60, 80? If so, then live as you please, you know. If you desire more in life, unfortunately, you cannot wait that long. For you will have to reap the misery of the rest of your life for not doing the things that you wish you did. And what type of life is that? If we want to see the crime rate go down, we got to start fixing souls. People are out here resenting themselves because of the system that we're in and having to work this damn nine to five. When the birds get to just fucking chirp and eat. What happened to unity? Why Why is there even fucking a price on anything? I get it. But now it's, it's savagery. <laughs> now. Now it's scary out here. And we're going to have to do a lot of inner work to fix it. One person at a time. Why? Because just like I'm one person, it could multiply. One person at a time.